What's up everybody, Eric McCabe here. Uh, I've had a few people ask me about my in the bag, what I'm currently throwing, what I'm gonna be throwing through the off season into next season. Uh, I plan on doing one in a little bit more detail with uh, Anthony and uh, on through Dynamic Discs. But I figured I'd go ahead and show you real quick um, what I'm currently throwing. So let's start with the putters, the big mystery. Everybody has uh, been asking me what I've been putting with, what I'm gonna be putting with. Uh, well, the answer is the Prime Judge. Uh, that's right, Prime Judge, I'm Team Judge. Uh, it has been uh, gone back and forth between it and the Mercy, and I finally kind of went back and gravitated back toward the Judge, mainly because of how predictable it is. Uh, it, it forces me to commit to my putts, being it's, it's an overstable putter. Being a spin putter, I really have to kind of force it, and I can't be lazy with it, which I actually do kind of like. Um, it, it, it forces me to uh, extend, follow through, which is majority of the reason when I miss putts is because I just get lazy and have a straighter putter and kind of trying to get the putter to do the work instead of um, making the putt happen. So I am currently using the Prime Judges. I've got an Emac one and I've also got a couple Marvels, uh, including the really cool Iron Man one, probably one of my favorite ones. Uh, just nice and grippy, holds the line, um, very, very good predictable putter. Um, approach, in, approach putters, I've got a shield from the 2014 Trilogy Challenge. I know that's a few years ago. It's been in the bag for a while, maybe not quite that long, but these are just amazing. It's the blend plastic, uh, the medium plastic. I can get it to hold that right line. I can just throw a nice flex shot with it and get it to turn over. Um, I throw it when I don't want a whole lot of skip or if I just need something to go dead straight. That's when I'm throwing the shield. Uh, next throwing putter is new to the bag this year. It is uh, inspired by our current PDGA Women's World Champion Paige Bierkus and it is the Paige Bierkus Fusion Judge. Uh, I saw her throw this disc. I've been seeing her throw this disc for so long, and she just does magic with this disc, and I wanted to try it out for myself. Very happy I did because it is a great flying disc. Very predictable. Um, it's not super overstable, but I can get it to hold a line into a nice slight headwind, and I can just mash it out there with a little bit of hyzer knowing it's going to flip to flat and just glide for days. Uh, so if I want to get a little bit more distance than I can with the shield, I'll throw the judge just because of that. Um, just a great disc. Thank you, Paige, for uh, showing me the disc and telling me I should put one in the bag. I did. I listened. You should as well. Uh, next up is a slammer. I've got a Lucid Slammer with the Ralphie on it. Um, very overstable, relatively flat, nice flying putter. Uh, it doesn't come out of the bag a whole lot, mainly only comes out of the bag if I need uh, something to fly a little bit slower and finish to the left, uh, maybe get around a tree, uh, minimal skip, um, those type of shots like that. Mainly on windier days is when the, the slammer's coming out of the bag, but you gotta have a Ralphie in the bag. Uh, next up, uh, Suspect is my next putter slash mid in the bag. It's kind of a kind of a hybrid disc I would say. It is very predictable. I love the way it feels in the hand. It is great for my forehand approaches if I need to throw like a touch forehand which isn't very often but uh, when I do need to do that this is what I reach for. It is very predictable. Uh, backhands I like to throw it uh, if I need a little bit more distance than the judge and I need it to finish to the left because it does have a nice little stability to it to make it um, kind of finish to the left about every single time unless it's super windy uh, then um, then I'll probably be reaching for something a little bit more stable but other than that it is a great flying disc uh, speaking of wind uh, I will throw the lucid X verdict if it is relatively windy it's got to be pretty breezy for me to break this thing out uh, it's in the bag but it doesn't fly too often uh, mainly because uh, I just Feel more comfortable with the Emacs throwing those. That's more of my go-to. But you do need something windy if it's a windy day, and uh, the Lucid X Verdict is what I reach for. 
Now, if it's super windy, ridiculously windy, I'll throw the Justice. I've got a hybrid Justice with the Spider-Man Emac die on it, Dimax. Um, excuse me, this is a very, very overstable disc and a really cool stamp. Uh, it does not come out of the bag very often, but if I need to throw like a forehand approach or if I'm ripping into a headwind or something like that, then I just need something that I know is gonna hold that line and not fade or not turn over rather, um, I'll reach for the Justice. Like I said, very rare will it come out of the bag, but when it does, it's predictable and I know what it's gonna do. Uh, moving on to the bread and butter. That would be the Emac, of course. Uh, currently I'm carrying four of them. Uh, I've got this one that's in the bag. It's been in the bag for quite some time. It's got like the Kitty Cat Dimax DD on it. Pretty cool. Uh, this has got like three or four aces on it. So it's been in my bag the longest. Very predictable. It's the one that I'll throw on Heiser flips. Or if I need something to turn over, this is the one I'm reaching for. Um, then I've got the B Dynamic. This is a really cool one. Uh, these are Domi, and you can pick them up at L64 Customs. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. If you're not, just Google it. You can figure it out. These are amazing. These are probably some of the best flying Emacs I've ever thrown. Uh, go pick one up from L64 Custom. They are amazing. Nice, overstable flight. Not super overstable like a Verdict, somewhere in between the two, but man oh man, is it predictable and I absolutely love it. Uh, I've got this team stamp one, very similar to the B Dynamic. Uh, it's in there basically if I'm playing an event and happen to lose that one, I wanna have a backup. This is my backup. Uh, and then last but not least is the Bar Stamp Camo Fusion Emac. Uh, these we just kind of released on our website not too long ago, I think a week or two ago. Um, it's kind of the same plastic as you can get through Dimax. Uh, fusion very predictable flight nice and straight I've been leaning on this one quite a bit mainly because it's new to the bag and uh, I really wanted to give it a fair shot and I'm happy I did because it is great it holds any line I can put it on it seems to be sneaky stable which I really do like so I can it, it's predictable so I can trust it and uh, yeah that's uh that's the fusion guys uh, thanks again for everybody for picking up Emacs if you uh, are a supporter of mine and you pick up the Emacs, or you just love the Emacs in general, I can't thank you enough. Um, I love the disc, obviously. I wouldn't have put my name on it if I, if I didn't. And I wanna thank you all for supporting me by picking up some Emacs and sharing the love that I do. Uh, moving on to some fairways. Um, I've got a uh, prototype felon in the bag. I also carry the Eric Oakley uh, Lucid X edition and they fly pretty much the same. Super overstable, board flat. Um, I can get nice little forehands on them. If I'm throwing this disc, most of the time, I'm throwing it very hard, very flat, and getting it to fade out at the very end. Uh, just overall predictable disc. Can't say enough good things about the Felon. Uh, next up, I've got the Explorer. New to the bag this year, uh, this Opto one has been in my bag since the Memorial, so it's got some flight. It's got some wear and tear. It is a great flying disc. Um, this particular one, I can get to hold on that Anheuser a little bit longer. It's, it's getting to the point now where it doesn't fly like a true Explorer does because of how long it's been in the bag and how much it's been used and all that. Uh, but it is, the Explorer is a great disc. Nice, straight, with a nice fade at the end of the flight. Uh, this is a new one to the bag this past week or so. It is the Snowline, and I really, last year I really, really loved the Snowline Ballistas. So I figured, hey, why not give the Snowline Explorer a try? I like the plastic, I like the disc. What could go wrong? So I did, and it is nice. It seems to be a lot more overstable. And I think that's just the plastic that makes it a little bit more overstable. Uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time with it yet, but it's good so far, so good. It will be in the bag, most likely through the winter and into the spring when it's a little colder out and I need a little bit more grip on the disc. Uh, next fairway is new to the bag this year. Uh, it is the Getaway. Uh, this is just pretty much a brand new one that I have in the bag. It's got some nice dome to it. 
just kind of a shallow rim. Man, this thing is great. It gets sneaky distance. I can just kind of put a hurting on the disc on a nice flat line. And if I need straight distance longer than my Emacs, if I need it to go, like I'm throwing my Emacs probably 290 to 360, 380, somewhere in there. So anywhere above 380, I'll probably be grabbing the, uh, the getaway. Low ceilings, mash on them, just goes dead straight. I can't say a good, enough good things about the getaway. It was a home run. Between the getaway and the explorer, I think both of those really do deserve uh, some praise and disc of the year, in my opinion. This is great. This is a hybrid one from the GBO this year. Uh, this to stamp your own. Um, we always do something cool like that for GBO where players can stamp their own disc. Uh, hope to see you guys at GBO this next year or the following year or the year after that. Either way, this is my hybrid one. It's great. Uh, moving on to the Trespass. Uh, this is an older one, bar stamp. Well, just, uh, sorry, not bar stamp, just regular stamp, uh, stock stamp. Uh, these are great discs. This one's been in the bag for quite some time. This is actually a pre-Sweden digi weight one. So it's been in the bag for a very long time. It's a nice hyzer flip, Anheuser disc, or if I need to put down a roller and get it to go to the right, this trespass is the one I'm reaching for. The other two trespasses are Lucid X Emac trespasses. These are awesome. Very overstable. Uh, the Lucid X plastic is very rigid, very tough, very hard. Uh, which creates more stability out of the disc. So if you've tried the Trespass in the past and you thought, man, that's a great disc, it's just a little too understable for me, promise, promise you'll love these. These are perfect stability-wise. This particular one here has been in my bag, oh, since they came out, and it has now become my uh, turnover slash roller one that I, I, I can't just throw a roller with, but I have to force it over, but it's a stable roller, so it'll hold that line and typically finish to the left, unlike my other one that'll finish to the right. Uh, and then this one is just brand new. Uh, I keep a new one in there for my forehands, for uh, maybe some tailwind or some left to right type shots. Uh, the Trespass, it just booms. It's a great disc. Thank you so much if you have bought one of these for supporting me, and um, I really appreciate it. Uh, moving on to the overstable disc in the bag, the Enforcer. Uh, this one here is uh, an official team hand-eye edition. This is uh, uh, brand new to the bag. This one here is overstable. Uh, I've also got the 8-bit uh, Hulk Smash one that is nice and predictable, overstable as well. Uh, these are basically uh, on windy days or if I need the disc just to go to the left or if I'm feeling powerful and just want to mash on something the enforcer is what I'm reaching for uh, and this one here has been in my bag for quite some time it has the um, team stamp on it and I've had this in my bag for man probably four years maybe and I can just mash on it I can throw it hard and flat and know it's going to just fly dead straight with a nice fade at the end very predictable. I would be very, very, very sad if I lose this disc. Very sad. Okay, moving on. I have the Ballista Pro. And now that I'm looking in my bag, uh, it appears as if I've lost one of them. I had a yellow Opto uh, bar stamp, uh, Latitude 64 stamped one that I threw somewhere in Waco, I think. So if you're, list if you're watching this and you're in Waco, and you find that disc, man, I would love to have it back. Hit me up, please. I miss that disc. I just now realized I lost it and I miss it. But anyway, I have the Gold Line Burst, Domi, Stable, Bomber, Wide Rim. Can't say enough good things. All the top players that play for the trilogy are throwing these discs for the right reasons. They just absolutely mash. I cannot believe how far they go, how fast they are. Uh, even if you don't have that big of an arm speed, uh, the Ballista Pro is still a great disc for your bag. You can really just mash on them. Uh, headwind, great headwind driver for you. For me, I'm getting these things out there further than I've thrown any disc in my career. And that does say something, and I'm not just saying that. So the three I carry now, well, I did have four, but I guess the three I carry now are the Chasing the Chains Fusion Burst, uh, the official team member hand-eye one, 
And then of course, the Ballista Joel, I call it. Um, kind of a cool one. Joel Hedges, shout out, you're my boy. Uh, this has been in there for a little while. This is my longer one that I can really rip on and get it to hold over a little bit, but know it's gonna come back. If I need to just completely get as much possible distance as I possibly can, I'm reaching for the Ballista Pro. That's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for supporting me, and not just me, but if you guys support my sponsors, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you think, uh, I want to thank Dynamic Discs. I want to thank Latitude 64. I want to thank Westside Discs. I want to thank Hand Eye Supply. Uh, everybody that has supported me. Uh, I know I didn't play a whole lot of tournaments this last year, mainly because I was out and about doing uh, a lot more course design, which you're going to see a lot more of that in the future. Um, it's my passion. I absolutely love it. It kind of helps me feel like I'm giving back in a way. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoy putting courses in the ground and uh, I, I still enjoy playing. I still have that competitive edge and I'll still be out there playing tournaments. Um, but thank you again for supporting me and the companies that do support me. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see you on the course sometime in 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.